This video is sponsored by IRAD. The first step is to open Google and click search. Type New EdTech Classroom YouTube and press enter. Click New EdTech Classroom YouTube. Click subscribe. Click the bell for notifications. Click all notifications. Every teacher can save time with an app called IRAD that builds tutorials for your students five times faster than if you were just doing a screencast. Recently, we've been building out a teacher professional development platform called 21st Century Teacher, and we've been using IRAD to create a lot of the tutorials for the platform. And so today, I'm gonna make one of the tutorials that we need for our PD platform, and most of what I show you today is on IRAD's free plan, but I will mention when a feature is on their premium plan. <laughs> And so I wanna create an IRAD tutorial showing teachers how to install Pear Deck as a Google Slides add-on. I already have the IRAD extension installed, but if you don't, you can just search IRAD extension and then it'll show you the chrome.google.com IRAD extension builder, and then you can add it to Chrome. So now I have Google Slides open and this is where I start to build my tutorial. If I click on the IRAD extension up here, you're gonna see down on the bottom right opens up some options. IRED has lots of tutorials already made for all the G Suite apps that are available anytime you open up IRAD when that Google app is open. To build my own tutorial for my students, I'm going to click on Capture to get started. It gives me a few tips before I start. It says, make sure I close out any non-essential tabs, make sure I perform my actions slowly, and then when I'm done, I can just click on the IRAD extension button up here. And so I'm going to hit Start, three, two, one. And so now I'm actually going to start the process of adding the Pear Deck add-on. It's not recording my voice right now. It's not recording video of me right now. It's just keeping track of everywhere on the screen that I click or type anything in. Pear Deck's already there, but I'm going to search it just in case the person doing this does not see it right there. Hit enter, and then I'm going to click on Pear Deck, and then I'm going to install it and then it needs permission. I'm gonna hit continue. It is gonna ask me if I wanna continue with my current email. I will say yes. I will scroll down and click allow. I can close out of that, and now I am done with the tutorial. I can click on the IRAD extension, and let's see what we have created. Remember, this is not a screencast. So here's our IRAD editor screen, and you can see up here it took 14 steps. I can move through the actual steps of what it did and see, okay, first it shows clicking on the add-ons, it shows clicking get add-ons, it shows clicking on the search apps. So you can see it's not, it didn't record any of my voice or or any of the actual movements of my mouse or anything like that, but each one of these things that I clicked on or typed was its own step. So now I'm gonna go back to the first step real quick just to show you something over here on the left. The only thing I probably need to edit is some of the text here. It says the first step is to open Untitled Presentation Google Slides and click Add-ons. I don't need Untitled Presentation Google Slides. I'm just gonna erase where it says the first step is to open Google Slides and then click on Add-ons. Next, click Highlight it sees this as the Pear Deck icon, so I'm just gonna say click Pear Deck right there, and then click Install. Click Continue. So all these steps are pretty good. Now, here I am, and I don't actually wanna show my email. Maybe I have multiple emails that I don't want as part of this tutorial. There is a blur feature that's super easy where it says Mask Content, and then I want to blur. And it says, just drag your mouse over what you want to blur. Now, I can't undo this once it's finalized, so just keep that in mind. But now, this is permanent. Are you sure? Why? For yes. Now my email is blurred out. I can just do it on this once, and I can close it out and move on. This is a step that it looks like it was just kind of tracking a loading page, so I can actually delete this step. And it says with your mouse, hover over highlight. I don't actually need to hover over that. I can delete this step as well. Now I realize I feel like I should have made a step that showed the person where to actually find the add-on. And if I was doing a screencast, I would probably have to re-record the entire thing. But with IRAD, adding a step and deleting anything out of there, as you saw, is gonna be so much easier and simpler. So I'm gonna click on add step and it says, make sure you open the tab that you want to capture. So I'm gonna go back to the Google slide tab. I'm gonna click start, I'm gonna click on add-ons, and then I'm gonna click on Pear Deck add-ons, and then I'm gonna click open add-on. 
And so those are the last steps that I wanna do. I'm gonna stop it right there. So now we're on step 12 and it says click on add-ons and then it says click open Pear Deck add-on and that is it. So now I'm done. I'm gonna click on preview and finish. It says, do you wanna add text to speech? Sure. Yes, and it generates a audio voice over based on the text that I wrote on there. So let's see what it sounds like. Let's click on start. The first step is to open Google Slides and click add-ons. And so you can hear the voiceover right there. It doesn't sound super robotic, which is nice. And so I wanna change the title of this Google Slides, how to add Pear Deck add-on to Google Slides. And so if I wanna link this to my students, I can just click on link and then just copy either the direct or the short link. And so now I have a new tab. Let me paste it right here so we can take a look at what it looks like. And before you hit start, I want you to notice that up here, there's several different views here. If I click on try it, that's the one that's gonna have the voiceover. And so when the students get to this page, they can just click on start. And then to progress through, they actually make the click. Click get add-ons. And then they can see, oh, okay, get add-ons and it takes them through the process. For your English language learners, if they want the written instructions to be in their native language, all they have to do is click on this language icon and pick the language they would like to have the written instructions in. So right here, you can even see it's in Spanish already. And while the voiceover is still in English, all the instructions are now in Spanish. The premium version of IRAD actually will translate the voiceover to that language as well. And what I found is if a student forgot how to do something, they often didn't want to go rewatch the entire tutorial screencast. So with IRAD, they don't have to go through this try it method where they have to click, 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 click to see the next step. But IRAD actually has several different views. The try it one is the clicking, but they can also just view it as a scrollable list. So when I click on start, now they can just scroll through and then see the instructions on the right side and then find the direction or instruction that they are looking for. Now, if you want your tutorials to show up on the bottom right, like the ones that are already built by IRAD, if you have an educator premium plan, you can add students to your classroom. As long as they are part of your classroom, they will see your tutorial whenever they open up Google Slides if it's a tutorial for Google Slides. And what's nice about that is they can click on it and now the instructions are are actually on the bottom right here. The first step is to open Google Slides and click add-ons. And now they don't even have to go back and forth between tabs because the thing that they're doing is right there and the instructions are on the bottom right. The teacher plan, which includes the translation of the voiceover as well as being able to add students to your class so they can access the IRAD tutorials a little bit more easily, is $10 a month. To give context to this, the teacher plan is basically everything that is in IRAD's pro plan. Their pro plan for businesses is $500 a month. As a teacher, you're getting nearly all of that functionality for only $10 a month. A study by Training Mag showed that companies that are using IRAD are building out educational and training resources five times faster than those that are not. So not only are you saving a ton of time creating these tutorials that are much easier to edit and modify, you are actually creating lessons that are more accessible to your students in the process. I mentioned the professional development platform that we're creating called 21st Century Teacher, where these IRAD tutorials are gonna be a part of it and as if we are sitting down next to you saying, okay, click here, type this, click there. Walking you through some of these how-tos. If you'd like to join the early bird wait list to be the first to find out when 21st Century Teacher is available, Available, go to newedtechclassroom.com slash 21st century teacher or visit the link down in the description and we will see you over there.